With Gail's Career Transitions, you have direct access to activities to help you find a new job or discover a new career. Using Career Transitions, you can search for jobs and internships, create a resume to send to potential employers, prepare a cover letter to send along with that resume, get tips and advice about resumes, jobs, applying, and interviewing, Prepare for a job interview with the Interview Simulator. Assess your career interests. Browse career paths. Match your work or military experience to new careers. And search for schools and educational programs. Career Transition will take you step by step through the process of writing a resume. In addition to the resume writing tool, you'll find articles and videos on resume writing. Now, let's take a look at a resume. A resume typically consists of a section containing your contact information, including your name, address, phone number, and an email address, a summary describing your career goals and qualifications. While not absolutely necessary, the summary section shows an employer that you've given thought to how your qualifications can help the company. A section outlining your work experience and related accomplishments, starting with your most recent or current position. A section providing detail on skills, expertise, tools, and technology in which you are proficient. This is a great way to show an employer how you can contribute to the company. A section highlighting your education and training a section listing your membership in professional organizations and or professional affiliations. This section can speak to the value you can bring the company in terms of networking and contacts, not to mention knowledge on a specific subject or field. A section listing awards and honors you've received. This section can help distinguish you from other candidates. And finally, a section listing references. These are individuals who can speak to your relevant qualifications like former managers, colleagues, teachers, or instructors. To begin, click Build Resume. Before you start your own resume, you'll need to gather the information we've just described. Enter your contact information. Notice that you can include an email address and or a link to a professional website, such as LinkedIn.com. Now, create a short statement describing your career goals and qualifications. Notice, you can choose your own name for each section. Notice you can also include a bulleted list in this section. You can add as many bullet points as you need. Now, beginning with your current or most recent job, add the job title, company name and location, your start and end dates, and your primary responsibilities and accomplishments. Do this for each job you want to include. If this is your current job, instead of giving an end date, Check Current Position. You can also include a bulleted list in this section as well. List your skills as well as any tools and technology you're proficient in. Now, beginning with your most recent school or educational program, add the institution's name and location, start and end date, and the degree and field of study. You can also include a bulleted list in this section. Do this for programs you want to include. Be sure to include any training that will showcase your knowledge and experience. If you have any memberships in organizations or professional affiliations that are relevant to your job or career goals, list them here. Include the organization's name and location and your start and end dates. You can also include a bulleted list in this section. 
Similarly, if you've received awards or honors relevant to your job or career goals, list them here. Include the award name, the name of the institution or organization that bestowed the award, and the year the award was given. You can also include a bulleted list in this section. And finally, list any individuals who can speak to your relevant qualifications, like former managers, colleagues, teachers, or instructors. Include the person's name, title, organization, and contact information. Also, specify the reference type, whether work, educational, personal, or volunteer. This information will not be included in your resume, but will be saved as a separate document that you can send if an employer requests it. At any point, you can download and or print your resume. When previewing your resume, you can choose which section of your resume you want to put first. Career Transitions also provides resume examples that you can learn and borrow from. The resumes are arranged into 16 categories. Within each category, you'll find three different examples based on level of experience. For those with little experience, some experience, or lots of experience. You can use these examples as guides for creating your own resume. If you find a resume that you like and want to return to it later, click Save. Now, when you're creating or updating a resume in Career Transitions, you'll see the saved resume example.